Hey, welcome back to Holistically Healthy TV. I'm your host, Jim Birdman. and today we're gonna to be talking about an inverted row because it's Technique Thursday, and this is a really, really good exercise for anyone who might not be able to do a chin-up or just wants to improve uh, general upper body strength. This is a really good variation um, that can be done, that can uh, actually be changed a little bit and altered, which I'll tell you about to make it a little bit easier uh, or a little bit more difficult depending on what your current athletic conditioning level is like. So I'm huffing and puffing a little sweaty here. I've just done three rounds of these different uh, five exercises and this was one of them. So I did it a couple of different ways, but I'm going to show you the more basic way and then I'll tell you uh, where I can even show you one of the more advanced versions of this. But again, this is really, really great to build upper body strength and you're not only working just your back muscles, but you're also working uh, your rear shoulders, your whole upper body in the back, uh, you're working your biceps, um, a lot of different muscles. It's, it's, and also your legs and your core, as you'll see too, because you actually have to keep your hips up to, uh, to, to be engaged with this exercise. So it's a really, really good exercise um, as opposed to just using maybe a cable machine. It's good to throw in your routine to switch it up a little bit. So let's just jump right into it. So what you're gonna do, so this is a squat rack that I have, um, and this is probably gonna be the easiest option for you. I've seen some people do this with uh, two chairs and a, and a metal bar. Um, that's a little bit more uh, precarious just because you have to worry about the chairs tipping over. So if you have something like a squat rack, most gyms are gonna have some kind of uh, deadlifting rack or a squat rack, or you could use a Smith machine, which is where the bar is on the track that goes up and down. You wouldn't be able to remove the bar, um, but you can move it up in different positions, which will help you make it easier, um, as I'll mention in a minute. So uh, I already have this set. I'm pretty pretty high off the ground, probably not quite three feet, but you, depend, you do it depending on um, your arm length and your athletic uh, level. So when I come down in here, I'm gonna hold it a little farther than shoulder width apart, and Make sure the bar is back if you have it uh, in a position like this so the bar is not rolling forward. So make sure it's back. And you're going to start the position with your hips up. And that's why I said your glutes would actually be engaged during this exercise and your core too. So you're going to lift your hips up like this and you're going to pull your chest up to the bar. Now, real quick, it's worth mentioning that it's not just a position where your shoulder is fixed and you're just pulling back with the elbow. The lat muscle, one of the biggest back muscles that you have, connects into the shoulder. So it's, it actually uses the shoulder as part of the movement for, for the lat. So they, those two work together. And some people just try to isolate them and focus on pulling and just contracting that, but you'll get a better contraction and a fuller range of motion if you actually have the shoulder come forward in that downward position, and then think of pulling the shoulder blades back and then having the elbows follow through. And you'll actually notice that it feels easier too because you're using the natural movement of the body and of the shoulder and the lat working together. And it's not just putting all the pressure or the strain on just that one particular muscle. So the easier you're able to do it, uh, or the, the, the easier you're able to integrate with your own body mechanics, the easier the movement will be. Also, the breathing is going to be an inhalation as you come up because you're expanding and opening the chest and an exhalation or exhaling as you come down and relaxing. Okay, so I'll just do a couple, extra, uh, a couple reps for you and then I'll show you a more advanced version. So you're here, notice my shoulders are almost hitting the ground. So I can probably have the bar up a little bit higher, but that's okay. And then pull the shoulder blades back and then I'll come up. So that's what it looks like real time. Okay, and you have a nice breathing flow, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, okay? Now a more advanced version is to do it single arm. So if you're already pretty advanced and you've done this exercise before, you wanna give yourself a little challenge. I'll do it with this hand actually. You would come up and reach up like this. And you would have this shoulder hit the ground so you'd actually have a little bit of rotation. Okay, and you would switch sides. 
So I did that variation, I did five on each side um, for one of my rounds in my exercise. <clears throat> to make it easier, you would raise the bar up a little bit. So what you would do by raising the bar up, you would increase your angle. Because unless you raise your feet, now your body's gonna be more like this. Upper body's here, lower body's here. So it's almost like the idea of a push-up. The higher you get in the push-up this way, the greater your angle, the easier it becomes. The more parallel you get to the ground, the harder it becomes because gravity has its greatest pull when we are in our parallel position. So by moving the bar up, if you're not strong enough to do it in this position, um, then you would just raise the bar a little bit, uh, move these up a notch, and then that'll give you an increased height. Or if you have that Smith machine, just bring it up a couple notches. It'll do the exact same thing. If you want to make it even harder here and single leg, you can always put your feet on a Swiss ball, uh, or you could start by putting your feet on a BOSU ball or something like that. You can also go to single leg, so have one leg, excuse me, on the BOSU ball or on the platform, whatever you're using, and just have a single leg. You could do something like that too. The Swiss ball makes it really unbalanced because now nothing is really stable except your hands, which are on a bar, but they're the ones holding on <laughs> for dear life. So your feet are on the ball um, in a very unstable position. So that really gets a lot of your uh, stabilizers fired up, get your core working even more, uh, your nervous system is ramped up even more, so you're gonna probably induce a lot more sweating, a little bit more inner fatigue, which is usually that nervous system fatigue. It's kind of like that inner fatigue. It's not necessarily from the muscles, it feels a little different. If you've had it before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So. This is a really, really good exercise to help build up the upper body, help build some nice biceps and arms. And then after you do something big like this, then you could always go down to uh, focusing on more isolated movements like bicep curls or hammer curls or easy bar curls or something like that. But this will fatigue a lot more muscles, burn a lot more calories, and uh, you know help men and women get stronger in their upper body. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this exercise. I uh, look forward to sharing a lot more with you. If you thought this was helpful, please share this around, share it with someone that you know who wants a stronger upper body. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, like, uh, whatever uh, social media outlet you're watching this on. But uh, I really appreciate you tuning in and checking this out and seeing what I have to share with you. If you have any questions or you want to see a different exercise, even you know something like this or something completely different, I would love to hear from you. So put it in the comments below and I will definitely be sure to put that on my list uh, of things to cover. So thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye.